It's May 5th, 2015. Uh, I've been um, online since I got home reading about the robbery. Uh, well, I got home early today because Alex was sick. He so he wasn't feeling well, feeling nauseous, so he stayed home. So there was no training. So I got home early, and I've been reading stories online. And it's just as bad as at school, because at school, kids are talking about the robbery. And they're talking about the glowing dude, and they're theorizing about what he can do. This one kid, he was guessing it was all energy-related or something. That's pretty spot on. Uh, that kind of made me nervous. Um... But yeah, there are all these sites reporting on the robbery. And not everyone believes the story about the glowing dude. They're rejecting that idea. But some sites are. And some, and some of those sites that believe it are connecting it to the explosion. Now, like, it's probably the same thing. Uh, probably, there's, they're, they're thinking maybe that the glowing dude somehow exploded or something, which he did. I know that. Alex knows that. They shouldn't know that, but they're figuring it out anyways. Um, let's see, another thing. Uh, the store had security cameras. It did. It was loaded up. It, because I, I, maybe they got robbed. I think they got robbed before. But either way, they are paying attention. And there's a good chance that one of those cameras was aimed right at me when I put the mask on and everything. But the interesting thing is, there is no footage of me. There's a gap. That's what, that's what it's being reported, that there was a gap. The film's reporting, and then it cuts out like before I even walk in the store. And it goes and goes and goes and goes and goes, and then it cuts back in after I'm gone, and the dude's already on the floor. So I got saved. Someone, maybe, maybe with, with my powers somehow, I erased the footage, interfered with the signal. I don't know. The thought that popped in my head was that maybe uh, the guy in the hood, maybe. He's like looking out for me or something. I'm like, I don't know why it would be, but I've been seeing him a lot. Like I said, seeing him in my dreams and everything. He wrote Jeffrey Lafrain on the board. I still don't know why he said that. Guy seems pretty solid. Um, but yeah, I got saved by that footage being erased. Hmm. Lucky. So yeah, I've been, I've been reading about, uh, reading up on the case, um, there's already been information collected on the guy. Apparently, uh, the guy who robbed the store, his name was, uh, Jeffrey Martin. Uh, he recently just been fired. He had some gambling debts he had to pay off. He's got a wife and kids, you know, so he, he probably just robbed the place to make some money, make a few bucks. It's pretty messed up. Of course, it's not much different than what Alex and I did, but... What? This says... This website says that in that parking lot where the explosion happened, there is radiation left there. Like Geiger counter radiation. Alex is feeling sick. Oh crap. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Okay.